I gotta say, Sony Pictures Animation, with this and Spider-Verse, you definitely know how to redeem yourselves after the Emoji Movie. Hey film fans, I'm Jack Benner and welcome to my review of The Mitchells vs. The Machines. The Mitchells vs. The Machines is a new Sony Pictures Animation film that is on Netflix. The story follows the Mitchells, who are a very strange and dysfunctional family. Their oldest daughter, Katie, gets accepted to film school. Her dad decides to take the family on a cross-country road trip to drop her off at college. Until a robot uprising begins and the Mitchells becomes the last humans left to hopefully save the day. I remember when this movie was supposed to come out last year and it had a different title connected. And I was surprised that this movie is now coming out this year with a different title and honestly, I prefer the title The Mitchells vs. The Machines over Connected. And it went on Netflix and I was hearing great things about it before it premiered on Netflix. I was excited to watch it. Oh my god. I absolutely love this one. I had a huge grin on my face throughout this movie. Definitely the best movie I have seen so far this year. First, the animation style is just terrific. I just really love seeing this type of animation style with this and Spider-Verse knowing how to blend 2D animation with CGI animation. And I loved how energetic and rapid fire this movie was. And I never felt like the animation style went too over the top or was distracting. It know when to slow down, focus on characters, and not be too in your face all the time. And this movie is absolutely hilarious with the involvement of producers Phil Lord and Chris Miller, and I just love their sense of humor. There are just so many blank and you'll miss it jokes. There are a few jokes I noticed in movies with like Perks of Being a Wallflower and Blade Runner 2049 that had me laughing. And I had a feeling that there were so many jokes I missed the first time that I'm looking forward to watching this movie again to pick up on them. And there are just certain transitions to visual gags that just had me cracking up so much. And I love the Mitchells in this film. Even if they were weird, I felt like they were very likable and I cared about them. And I particularly love that the main character, Katie, she is an aspiring filmmaker. And she's been making movies and got accepted to film school. And I definitely related to that since I loved movies growing up and I was hoping to make them someday. And there is a certain line at the beginning of the film when she is narrating. I'm probably paraphrasing this, but she said something like, even if I didn't fit in, movies were always there for me. And I said, spot on. And also with the family, I love this little dog. Very weird pug, and his eyes look in different directions, one left, one to right. And the voice cast is also very good too. From Danny McBride and Maya Rudolph as the mother and father, and also Eric Andre as the creator of the technology. And I also enjoyed Olivia Coleman as the villain of the film. She plays this evil mobile phone, and she is set up pretty well in the film. But what surprised me the most about this film was just how heartfelt it was. Just this one last adventure with the family, to just share those memories one last time before dropping off your oldest child into college. And there is conflict between father and daughter of the film, and the father is not really sure about Katie's love for movies and starting to become a filmmaker. I really love seeing that progress throughout the film, and it added a lot of heart to the film. And also as a good message about technology is, you shouldn't rely on it too much. And sometimes it's okay to take a break from it. And we should have more interactions with our loved ones without technology. It's really hard to think of issues for this movie, but the small issue I have with this film, it's a little predictable. Just one little moment where I saw where the story is going, what I feel like was going to happen. But overall, The Mitchells vs. The Machines surprised me on so many levels. Terrific animation, energetic style, fun characters, and surprisingly deep messages. And animation for this year is looking pretty good with this and Ryan the Last Dragon. And for competition, we'll see what Pixar does with Luca, which is going to be premiering on Disney Plus this June. And overall, I'm going to give The Mitchells vs. The Machines 4.5 stars out of 5. And A, definitely the best film I have seen so far this year. And go to your Netflix account and watch this movie ASAP. So what do you guys think of The Mitchells vs. The Machines? Do you agree? Disagree with me? Let me know below. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new here. It really means a lot. I'm Jack Benner, and look forward to another move review.